Uh, I had the, the great fortune of being raised by an amazing net worther, my mother. My British mother, Patricia. Around our house, we called her Lady P. And she, she, wa she announced when I was 13 at the dinner table, I'm not kidding, I was 13, I had twin brothers that were 12, I had an older brother who was 16, and an older sister who was 18, five kids. And she announced at the dinner table she was taking early retirement from the stay-at-home mom gig. She opted for the severance package. And she, she said, you know, unbeknownst to all of you, I have been taking a real estate course, and I passed, and I am now a realtor. She said it with a British accent. And we, we were like shocked, because we had no idea this was going on. Now, this was 1975, OK? If, you were, if any of you are old enough to remember what it was like back then, if not, Google it. Uh, it was a very similar economy like we have today. Housing market was in the toilet. Nobody was buying houses. Nobody was selling houses. You know, it was very similar. And everybody thought, what are you doing? Why are you going into real estate in, you know, when the housing slump is at an all-time worse? And my mom had a plan. And her plan was to stand in that intersection and look for ways to be a resource. What happens, like happening right now in this, when we're in this slump we're trying to climb out of right now in housing? You be a resource to people. So what my mom did was she had all kinds of people she knew in the Detroit area who were carpet layers and hardwood floor guys and faux painters and, and landscapers. And a lot of them were Russian immigrants from Russia. And my mom just had this vast network of people she knew. And so what she would do was she would be a resource to people. If you were looking for someone to you know, lay your carpets or, you know, because people invest in their homes, right? When you're not selling and buying, you look for ways to upgrade your home. And so she became this go-to person for those resources. And I, I would be like, I was 13, okay? Like I didn't hate my life enough. And I would be, I'd be in the grocery store line with her and she'd overhear somebody saying how they're looking to get their roof replaced. And she'd tap them on the shoulder and go, you know, I know a great person could do that for you. And I'd be like, I mean, do you have to talk to everybody? And people began to call her, and they'd say, hey, somebody told me that you know somebody who's a great painter. I'm looking to get my house painted. Hey, somebody told me. And she would help people. Now, she never charged a referral fee. She didn't. Many of these people she never knew. They weren't necessarily clients. They were just friends of friends who would find out about my mother. Now, around the late, about the second year she was in real estate, mobile phones came out. Do you remember? Does anybody know what those used to look like when they first came out? They were like 30 pound boulders, okay? And she had, like, she told my dad, I have to have one of these. And she had it bolted, like, in the, you know, the base of the car. And it actually had a cord. And, and so she would be talking to people, like, in the hair salon, and they would say, I need, I, oh, I'm looking to get my house painted. Come with me. And they'd go out to the car. And it would cost, like, $5 to make one call from that mobile phone. But my mom would do that. And, and so, you know, actually, she got in more car accidents that first year. Because I, I, she would be like driving and dialing. And I mean, my father paid more to insure my mother than he did to insure the two teenagers in her house. But I'll tell you what happened. The economy turned like it always does. And when it turned on that third year of her being in real estate, guess who people called to list their homes and buy their homes? My mom. At the end of the third year, my mother was awarded in the Detroit area, Birmingham, Bloomfield Hills, very similar market to Broadmoor area, as one of the highest producers in her third year. And she did it because she intentionally looked for ways to be a resource.